What is going on guys? It's Tyson here at Blevins Family Farm. And sorry about the lighting, sun's about to go away. But we had something exciting happen today. Kidding season officially started on the farm. And uh, it was right before my lunch. I did come out here for lunch to check on them. Uh, my grandpa was out here with them. Uh, Folly, whoop. Folly had triplets, but uh, one of the little boys didn't make it. He was born uh, deceased, so it is what it is. I'm sad about it, but she has two still on her, and uh, we're going to go out here and check them out, and uh, got everybody fed to get them out of my way, and we're going to give her a little feed and uh, water, get her fixed up, and uh, let's go check out some babies. All right, guys. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. There's a little boy. Not so little. His name is Cracker. And there's little Caroline. I'll try to get some better video tomorrow or in the next couple of days, guys. As kids keep dropping, but sorry, Tom does not agree with me when I can be out here and all that. Folly's doing good. Just got done giving her some food here. Gonna get her some water, but little cuties, little bitty cuties. And this right here, guys, is liquid gold for goat uh, farmers. This is a little Gatorade bottle that has colostrum. Folly here has such a big bag and so laid back that she lets us milk so we wanted to get as much out of her as possible and that's how much colostrum we just milked out of her for emergencies if we do need it because there are times where things might go south and uh it's really good to have some on hand so any chance you get when you have goats make sure you do get some colostrum mom mom actually did it by herself she just walked right underneath her and just started going away she is not a milk goat by any means necessary but she produces enough milk and is so gentle that she lets us get uh what we need from her so she she's probably gonna help future uh babies out here more than likely all right guys we're gonna do a little trick today we're gonna fix this uh little caroline the girl that was born uh, we're gonna fix one of her ears it's flopped over folded together so we're gonna use some card some cardboard here and vet wrap and we're gonna see if we can fix this here so we'll go in here and I'll show you how I'm gonna do this <laughs> already did All right. so we're gonna get here I already told you what I'm bowls are here's little Caroline okay this is what I'm t talking to y'all about normal ear flat folded ear so what we're gonna do is put that in flatten that ear back out like that see it's actually kind of wanting to stay but she's only two days old so it should be way easier to do it but you can kind of see where it's wanting to that crease right here where it's wanting to so this cardboard we're going to cut two deals of cardboard for each side of this ear and then we're going to wrap it up so uh let's get to it oh i know it That's such a hard hard lie doesn't have to be perfect guys we're gonna set her down for a second. One. 
cardboard don't taste good, Polly. Come here, half punt. All right. <laughs> I think I might have let it. This can be a trial and error, guys. I'm trying to make sure it's not folded. And now she has a little earring for a little while. Put that right there. Should help her ear grow straight. So just a little tip for you guys. Never done it before. Well, first time for everything, right?